Okay, so lesson number two. For this lesson, we're going to be dealing with degrees and radians, which are the two ways to measure angles. So, first we're going to start with a do now, which is to find the reference angle of 164 degrees. Now remember, to find the reference angle, first thing you need to do is figure out where this angle is. So you always start with kind of a little picture. Now, in this picture, we have 0 degrees, 90, 180, 270, and 360. Okay? Now, this angle, 164, is somewhere between 90 and 180. We don't know exactly where, which is fine. Okay? Now, let's figure out which quadrant this is. You always start at the top right quadrant, and then you go counterclockwise. So this is one, that means this will be two. Just to finish up, this will be three, and this will be four, okay? So it is in quadrant two. There were rules that you were given yesterday to see how to find the reference angle. In quadrant two, you have to do 180 minus theta. Theta represents your angle. So in this case, we have to do 180 minus 164. You can pull up your calculator. 180 minus 164, and you'll get 16. So our reference angle here is 16 degrees. Okay, up until now, we've only been measuring angles using degrees, but another very common way to measure angles is using something called radians. So radians use pi. So we are going to be using the pi constant today. So, to convert from degrees to radians, here is our step, okay? You have to multiply the degree by pi over 180 and simplify. So, let's convert the following from degrees to radians. Now, if you don't know which one it's in, look at what's there. This little circle thing here, that's a symbol for degrees. So we have 510 degrees. I'm just going to rewrite it a little bigger. So to get this into radians, you have to multiply by pi over 180. When you do that, you can think of this as 510 over 1, same concept. So 1, 510 times pi is 510 pi over 1 times 180 is 180. So now you do have to simplify. So these are some bigger numbers. So if you would like to use your calculator, you can. Alpha, y equals, enter. You are not typing pi in the calculator. You are only typing in your numbers. So we are typing in 510 divided by 180. And when you do that, we get 17 over 6. So this actually simplifies to 17 pi stays on top of the 17 over 6. Now this is in radians. Okay? Now this note is very important on the bottom there. You must have pi when you are representing radians. If you don't have pi in your answer, you don't have radians. Next, we're going to do it the opposite way. We're going to go from radians to degrees, and it's very similar, except instead of multiplying by pi over 180, you multiply by 180 over pi. So it says convert the angle 7 pi over 4 radians to degrees. So to do that, we have 7 pi over 4. We multiply it by 180 over now, the reason why we do this is because we're going into degrees, so we should have no more pi in our answer. When you multiply it, this pi that's on the numerator cancels out or divides to 1 with the pi that's in the denominator. So they actually go away, which is what helps us. Next, we have 7 times 180. So 7 times 180, which gives us 1,000. 260, and in the denominator, we're left with 4 times 1, so we're just left with 4. 
Now just divide the numbers. So we take 1260, divide it by 4, and we get 315. So this is equal to 315 degrees. Notice I included the degree symbol there. You need it because you need that unit in there. And then just a little kind of hint slash note on the bottom. You know you use the right conversion if the pi cancels out, which is what it did in this first step. So you will get this conversion on the reference table, so you will see this pi over 180 radians. That's how you go from degrees to radians. And then to go the opposite way, you just flip it over. Okay, we are going to do a couple problems. So it says convert the angle 11 pi over 12 radians to degrees. So we start 11 pi over 12. We're converting it into degrees, so we multiply by 180 over pi. We do this because you want the pi's to cancel. So this pi cancels out with that pi, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we have 11 times 180. Which gives us 1980. And this is 12 times 1, which just gives us 12. Now we divide. So divided by 12, and we get 165. So this is equal to 165 degrees. Now, number 2 says convert the following angle from degrees to radians. So we have 165 degrees. To convert it from degrees to radians, you multiply by pi over 180. Because remember, you want pi to be in your final answer. So here, we can think about this as 165 over 1. 165 times pi is 165 pi. 1 times 180 is 180. Now we have to simplify. Cannot leave it in that way. So to simplify, you can go to the calculator, and you do not type in the pi, you type in everything else. So 165 divided by 180. 165 divided by 180, that gives us 11 over 12. So this is actually equal to 11 pi over 12. Notice these two questions were kind of the same. Okay, just goes to show you that you can convert it whichever way you like. Alright, so converting these three or four, four degrees into radians, these are your most important. So for 90, you would multiply this by pi over 180. And this would give you 90 pi over 180, which is the same thing as 1 pi over 2. Now we really don't need that 1 there, so it's the same as pi over 2. For 180, we multiply this by pi over 180. When we do that, we get 180 pi over 180 those cross out. And that's equal to just pi. So these are all radians. So I'll just write that in. Alright, next let's do 270. So you multiply by pi over 180. That is equal to 270 pi over 180, which will then simplify to 3 pi over 2 radians. And lastly, we have 360. 
multiply by pi over 180 becomes 360 pi over 180, which becomes 2 pi radians. The reason why I'm showing you these four angles specifically is because these four angles are going to be the most important angles that we're going to be dealing with. So it's really crucial that you can connect 90 degrees and pi over 2 radians, 180 degrees and pi radians, and so on. Okay, so to get credit for today's class, you must complete these two problems and upload a picture of the solution onto the assignment posted on Google Classroom.